Up there. Now we want to talk to Calvin Duck, who is the president of the CD Global uh, Strategies Group. He's coming to us live from uh, Washington, D.C. Uh, Calvin Duck, if you can hear me, I don't know what time it is in the U.S. I believe it's still in the morning. Good morning. And first of all, can you tell us how, imp uh, sure, how important is, is this visit of uh, Melania Trump uh, to, uh, to the African continent? How important is it in uh, assessing the President Donald Trump's uh, policy uh, for Africa? Well, I think it has the potential to be important because um, First Lady Melania Trump is visiting, you know, causes and um, uh, initiatives that fit with her Be Best campaign to help children's welfare. So I think it could be important in that it brings, you know, needed attention from around the world to it. Now, as far as how it's going to affect President Trump's Africa strategy, I don't know because it's not really clear what President Trump's Africa strategy is. So I don't think it can hurt, but it still remains to be seen if it's going to help. Great. That's an important point that you're saying you're not certain about what President Trump's policy on Africa is. Uh, what could be the problem? Because previously, when you have had the, the, the previous presidents, and specifically talking about uh, President uh, Barack Obama, at least we could see something that was happening, especially with the Global Entrepreneurship Summit. Uh, what has taken so long for President Trump to really define his interaction and relationship with the African continent? Why? Well, I think with President Obama, it was a special case because he obviously had ties to his father with um, Africa. And I think the problem with President Trump is that he has never really shown that he sees Africa as more than a place where aid is needed or where there might be conflicts. He hasn't really grasped that there are investment opportunities. There's security and anti-terrorism cooperation. There's tourism. And I think because he's been kind of slow to recognize that, there hasn't been really any initiative to engage with Africa like he could. And then, of course, you know, with the derogatory comments that were made earlier this year, allegedly, that didn't help. Uh, that's right. And now talking about... Uh we know that uh, President Trump is still struggling back at home with confidence levels, uh, still being rated by media outlets that uh, this is one of the lowest ranking for a sitting president in their second day of service. Uh, but then again, will this visit by Melania Trump and how she has conducted herself uh, since January 20th, 2017, does it help anything in improving the image of President Donald Trump at home as well as uh, globally? It may help improve um, some of Parson's reputation globally because he's been seen, especially after the speech he gave at the United Nations, as very um, America first and not cooperating with our neighbors. Now, what I can tell you here in the United States is that, unfortunately, it's not going to help him or his image here because there are tons of things going on at the same time. You've got the Russian investigation. You've got the controversy over the Supreme Court nominee. You've got the midterm elections coming up, and if the Republicans are going to maintain or lose power. So I hope that um, First Lady Melania Trump's trip is successful for her, for the causes she wants to support. But it will take a lot to help President Trump's image here in the United States. And finally, do you think, in as much as, as you say that uh, the, the relationship between President Trump and the African continent is not defined, do you think he is likely to make a tour of the African continent before 2020? I, I'm going to be optimistic and say anything is possible, but I wouldn't count on it. <laughs> All right, thank you so much, Calvin Duck, speaking to us live uh, from Washington, D.C. Thank you for your time, of course, giving us your insights on the relationship between uh, President Trump, the U.S., and the